Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm really really excited because I have been wanting to check out more from Tom Ford's brand for so long. Years ago I picked up the Honeymoon eyeshadow palette which is absolutely so stunning. It's like cranberry tones. I mean it's really something to take a look at. And I also tried their shade and light cream bronzer. So the other day I took myself to Nordstrom at the Grove and I picked up some products that were just screaming my name. So as you guys know I'm absolutely a Charlotte Tilbury girl through and through. And what you may not know is that Charlotte Tilbury was actually the creative director for Tom Ford's cosmetic line. He picked her to design everything, pick out all the colors, help with the packaging to really capture his vision. And she did such an amazing job. And that's why you'll see a lot of similarities between Tom Ford's brand and Charlotte Tilbury because she is the creative soul behind the two of them. So that's why I'm really curious to continue to explore Tom Ford's brand is because I really know that Charlotte's behind it and you know I'm Charlotte girl. So let's go ahead and get into this. I picked up a cream bronzer. Yes, I repurchased it. That's how much I love it. I picked up an eyeshadow palette, which he's so known for his eyeshadows, a lip color, and of course, you can't pick up something from Tom Ford without picking up a fragrance. So we're gonna get into all of that. But first, if you're new here, my name's Megan, and I'm a Los Angeles-based makeup artist. These days, I'm doing a lot of makeup here on YouTube, and my channel is almost exclusively Charlotte Tilbury products, reviews, product reveals, and and tutorials. I'm really excited because I know a lot of you really enjoy Tom Ford products and tried them and fell in love with them even before you had used Charlotte Tilbury as a brand. And also, fun fact, Charlotte Tilbury and Tom Ford are like this and they can't have enough good things to say about each other's brands. So if you feel like you're cheating a little bit by going with Tom Ford, just know that they totally love and respect each other and it's totally fine to support both brands. All right, so let's go ahead and get into this Tom Ford goodness. I'm so excited to show you what I picked up. Let's go ahead and get started with the shade and illuminate cream bronzer and highlighter. All right, so we're gonna jump in with a Tom Ford complexion product that is absolutely beloved. I've used this product before. I've gone through the entire thing. I'm obsessed with it and it comes in several different shades. So the product we're using is a cream bronzer and it also has a highlighter. This is called the Tom Ford Shade and Illuminate Little Duo. So it comes with this little plastic thing. I think it's $88. It is on the pricier side, but it's so worth it because this product blends like a dream. It's the perfect color and consistency, and it doesn't remove your foundation underneath as you apply it. So I really have like went through this quite quickly. I didn't even hit pan for this one, but I absolutely love this. So let's go ahead and apply. I've already done my foundation and my concealer and my brows. So for my foundation, I'm using the Airbrush Flawless Foundation from Charlotte Tilbury in 5.5 Neutral. And then for my concealer, I have Magic Away shades four and five on all over my face to really perfect my complexion. For my brows today, I used a Senna Brow Pencil in Light Blonde, and that is everything on my face so far. So we're gonna go ahead and add some color. The brush that I'm using to apply this contour is from Makeup Forever, and this is a 144 brush. I love the shape of it. It is just perfect for applying your contour. I know I used to use this brush with it, so I'm gonna see if I still love it. So we're just gonna dip in, and then we're gonna go under the cheekbone. I'm a little bit broken out here, unfortunately. I think that's from doing makeup so often. So we're gonna suck in the cheeks and sort of paint it on. Need a little bit more. Okay, I think this goes better when you do like a little bit of a bouncing rather than a dragging motion. So let's go ahead and place that all over with that little stippling motion. Yeah, I'm not sure if I had this color before, but it really does look like it's gonna show up very nicely pretty quickly. We're gonna get that temple going down to cheekbone, and then let's go right here along the jawline. So unlike the Charlotte Tilbury contour, you have a little bit of playtime with this one. You can definitely like map it out like I'm doing and then go back in and start blending that. I'm trying to think of what brush I wanna to use to blend this in with. Could always do the beauty blender. So let's go ahead and try the beauty blender. I really don't want it to take any product off. I just want it to push it in. So we'll kind of experiment together. That's pretty good, but you know what I think I need to do is to pop my beauty blender in this a bit as I'm blending it in, just so I'm not losing any of that product. There we go. This is gonna keep that intensity. So I'm pressing that into the hairline. I wanna really, really make sure that you can't see like, like the whiteness popping through right here on my skin. Don't mind me, I'm just going to be blending for the rest of my life. But it is blending out really nicely. Okay, so now I'm gonna take the part of the sponge that doesn't have any bronzer on it, and we're just gonna clean up at the bottom here. 
All right, now I'm taking the bottom part that has a bit of bronzer and we're gonna keep blending that in at the jawline. Everybody loves a nice defined jawline. Makes you feel womanly. All right, so for this side of my face, I'm gonna use the Charlotte Tilbury contour brush. This is what she created for her cream contour. So we're just gonna see how that blends with this product. So this definitely puts a lot on, but it's not the best brush for like diffusing it is what I feel. So as you can see, the color of this contour slash bronzer is really nice. It's not too gray, it's not too cool tone, but it's also not too orange. Um, it's, it's like pretty soft and subtle. Okay, so far what I like the most is to just directly go in with the Beauty Blender and use that to apply rather than mapping it out with any sort of a brush before. It just goes on with the most opacity and kind of just looks the best. All right, I think that's looking really good. So let's just go ahead and take this little side of the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Complexion Brush and dip it very lightly into the contour. And then let's just go ahead and do the sides of my nose because that's something I always do and I love the look of. Okay, so that bronzer's looking great. It just sits well on the skin. I like the texture of it. I like the color of it. Everything's good. So now we're gonna just intensify that a little bit with the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Bronzer in shade number two, just to kind of set it. We're gonna finish off with the skin here and then jump into the eyes. I'm so excited about the eyeshadow palette we're playing with today. It is really gorgeous. It kind of has like a holiday feel to it, but those colors are just something I would be so drawn to any time of the year. It's, it's really well done. And that's something I have to say about Tom Ford is those eyeshadow palettes are really really something else you want every single one of them okay so onto the eyes I have a gorgeous leopard Sun eyeshadow palette here I'm so excited to show this to you I am so in love with these colors they're so gorgeous I'm especially obsessed with these burgundies it's kind of cool to have this almost camel color orangey burnt orange color and I'm very curious to see how this looks so let's go ahead and jump right in so I'm used to the Charlotte way of doing things and she did design all these eyeshadow palettes so I can almost assume where she'd want each shade to go but there's no prime shade there's no enhanced you know we're kind of gonna have to just figure it out I mean this is like a pop shade and so I'm gonna use this one as my enhanced shade so we're just gonna dip into that color um, I'm just gonna focus it on the outer corner as I normally would and we're just gonna see how intense this color is so it looks like it's showing up right away but we're definitely gonna have to build that up and keep dipping into it I have one other Tom Ford eyeshadow palette it is honeymoon and these are mattes and that, so that Honeymoon palette is totally different. It's like a very interesting formula, but they're all shimmery shades. So I've never worked with any of the Tom Ford eyeshadows that have a matte in it. So we're really going to be exploring this together. Okay, so what I'm noticing is that this really picks up quite a bit. You can see this color is, um, it's pigmented. It shows up and it builds really nicely. So you can get a more sheer version of this too. It's pretty, I would never wear an eyeshadow this color. It's really kind of interesting. Okay, so we have that first shade through the crease on both eyes, and I'm gonna take a little smudger brush into that same color, and we're gonna put that on the lower lash line. I'm pretty impressed with like how vibrant this color is. I can honestly say I've never worn an eyeshadow this color. Tom Ford has us out here trying some, some different things. Okay, so I'm actually now looking at this palette and I've become quite confused because I thought this was going to be like an enhanced shade we'll put in the crease in the lower lash line, but I'm realizing maybe that's what this color was and that this one goes in the outer corner. So I'm kind of thinking this needs to go on my lid. What do you guys think? So I'm going to I'm going to put it on my lid. <laughs> Let's see what happens. We are just in this together, absolutely going through this blindly. Hmm. Do we like this? Okay, honestly, I have no idea what's going on, but I think we should just move on to the next shade. So let's take a clean Charlotte Tilbury blending brush and let's dip into this sort of neutral brown tone and let's focus that through the crease and see what happens. Okay, I think we're making this work. It's almost just like adding definition and shadow in. It's kind of like we're adding contour to the crease here. I'm fine with this. This is looking acceptable guys I just have to say I get so thrown off by the fact that it gets dark here at like four I mean it's absolutely bizarre when you sleep in like I do you really only have a few hours of, of light to your day and it really throws a girl off I'm not sure if it's like that where you guys are in the world this is a very interesting question that's either a really smart question of me or a really dumb question of me but our daylight savings here in California is whack I know they don't have daylight savings in certain places like Arizona doesn't have one I think so maybe my question is not stupid 
if you do think my question is stupid, let's just keep it to yourself. But anyways, all of this to say, I cannot wait till it's summer and it doesn't get dark till nine. I mean, that is just absolutely the vibe. So I'm taking a brush that has nothing on it and we're just going to blend out the brow bone. So we kind of don't see where the shadows start. Everything looks really softly blended. I think this is one of those eyeshadow looks where it's just a process and you're just, <laughs> you're just gonna like it at the end. Okay, so after a bit of blending, this is what those first two shades look like together, and I really, really like it. Again, it's very unique, kind of goes with my shirt really well, and I'm liking where this is going. So next we have this gorgeous sort of burgundy tone to dip into. I just happen to have one more clean brush, Charlotte Tilbury Blender. So let's go ahead and lightly dip into that gorgeous burgundy. Doesn't even seem like a type of formula that you really have to tap into your wrist. Um, doesn't look like there's a lot of fallout. And then we're gonna focus that color on the outer corners of the eye. I'm gonna go along my lashes too. Okay, switching over to that blender brush and let's run it along the lashes. This is gonna give more intensity to the color, give a little shadow along the lashes. And then let's go ahead and take that same color on the lower lashes. Okay, so this is how my eyeshadow is looking with the first three shades. So now we're gonna dip into that beautiful, sparkly, sort of like pop shade, and let's see what happens. I do have a little bit of fallout on my cheeks, which I'll fix, and I kind of think I should just use my finger for this because that is what my Charlotte training has taught me to do. So let's go ahead and see what this does. Ooh, that's beautiful. Yeah, I really did have a feeling that this is the tone that was just really gonna pull it all together. And wow, wow, this really does look similar to like a Charlotte Tilbury pop shade. But dare I say, it's even more intense and more golden. Yeah, that's really, really stunning. It totally pulls it all together. So I'm just gonna take it halfway across the eye and then I'm gonna put a little bit more of that uh, burgundy shade there to add more contrast. Okay, these Tokyo drifters outside really need to respect my name when I'm filming. Okay, so let's go ahead and jump into eyeliner. I had a couple different ideas for this look, and I think that a dark brown is gonna be most complimentary to what we're building here. There is also the option to do a burgundy eyeliner, like the Walk of Shame eyeliner. So let's hold up two options. This is the burgundy one, which would be really beautiful, and then there's the brown. I just have this feeling that Tom Ford would have wanted a brown, so we're gonna go with the Rock and Coal in Barbarella Brown, and we're gonna build a gorgeous room. So let me also think what Tom Ford would want with this eye, because this isn't Charlotte, this is Tom Ford. So I think what I'm gonna do is put a line along my lashes, and then we'll do a wing at the end, but let's just kind of start with this, and maybe we'll smudge out the eyeliner and make it less about a winged look and more just about kind of like a blown out look. I say that now, but you know, my, when my training comes in, it's hard to resist. So let's go ahead and just go along the lashes. All right, so this is what it looks like when I don't do the wing and I kind of keep it to the end of my eye. So I think what would be really nice is to sort of just softly blend that out. And I'm gonna blend that out with the Charlotte Tilbury eyeliner brush. Okay, I have decided I am gonna do a winged liner, so it, it, it's just who I am, I'm sorry. So let's go ahead and build a little bit of a flick. So I wish I had a Tom Ford mascara to put on, but we're gonna be using Legendary Lashes from Charlotte Tilbury. If you've tried a Tom Ford mascara that you love, please let me know and I'll for sure include it into a future video. All right, so my mascara is finished and I just picked up these beautiful lashes from Velour Lash from uh, Sephora. And I think that this is a specific style just to Sephora. And what I love is that they remind me of the Charlotte Tilbury Cat Eye Corner Lashes. So these are gonna be great. They're gonna be reusable and I've always really enjoyed Velour Lashes in the past. So this is what they look like. They're so sweet. Get it ready and you really want your lashes to stand up, not go down. So I'm looking into my little mirror and let's hope this lash glue is dry. Okay, so that lash style is so natural. I mean, it really, really blends in with my lashes, so they're not quite as long as the cat eye corner lash, but they're gonna add more definition, more thickness to the lash line. And as you look around, like you can see that really pretty curve it gives the eye shape. All right, so now that the lashes are on, we're gonna move on to the lips. I've actually had the most traumatizing situation happen to me. I picked up a Tom Ford lipstick for this look, and it's nowhere to be seen. I mean, I just checked my car, my bag, everywhere that it's been, and it has 
has just gone MIA and I could die. Anyone who's ever purchased a Tom Ford lipstick and they, you know, bit that bullet, they know how painful that is. Um, so I don't want to talk about it. So what we're going to do is switch gears. I had picked out a really beautiful kind of red, berry red, neutral berry red color that I was going to do with this look and it was going to be so stunning. Um, we're going to switch routes here. I do have another Tom Ford product that I picked up and this wasn't even going to match the red. So we are pivoting and we do have another Tom Ford product to use. So this is a gorgeous gloss. I did try it on. It like smells really wonderful. It's called Crystalline and it's the Gloss Luxe Brilliant. I don't know. Too long, too French. Didn't read. Um, so it's a beautiful creamy nude. So my vibe. So what we're going to do is just do a classic nude lip with this more, you know, there's a little bit of color to this look, but it does read nude, right? Just going for very sleek nude vibes with this look from here on out. So I'm just going to do a bit of nude lip liner. We're using the Charlotte Tilbury Iconic Nude. What else would we ever use? Unless I get some Tom Ford lip liners. I would certainly use those. So I'm going to look into the mirror and drop my liner. Every single time that I use Iconic Nude, someone on my social media or in person asks me if I've had my lips done. And I think the reason why is because it's so believable, um, it's so close to your lip color, that it does look like your lips just legitimately are so much fuller. That compliment never hurts. All right, so now that my lip liner is done, I'm gonna go in with a beautiful nude color. So I'm gonna do Penelope Pink, which I just have the Charlotte lipsticks depotted here. I'm gonna to top that with Kim KW, and then that's gonna look so beautiful with this Tom Ford gloss. All right, so this is Penelope Pink. Okay, so now we're going in with the shade KKW, one of my favorite nudes from Charlotte Tilbury. All right, and that is our light pinky nude lip situation. So now we're gonna go ahead and top that with the TF Gloss. Let's see what this baby can do. Hmm, so pretty. Oh my gosh, the smell of this is so good. I literally feel like I'm putting a cupcake on my lips. Gorgeous, so pretty. It adds a little bit of color, but what I notice most is it's just glassy. Like it kind of just adds this beautiful texture to the lips that just looks like almost like a vinyl, you know? So the lips are done, the eyes are done. Let's finish up the skin. I think we need a little color on the cheeks. I'm going to do the Charlotte Tilbury shade number two of the Pillow Talk blush, Pillow Talk Beauty Light Wand. And then we're gonna go in and blend it in with, this is the Charlotte Tilbury blush brush. So when I have such a nude look on, I really do need to have that color on my cheeks or else, you know, everything's just too flat. So I'm going to take that beauty blender and blend right at the cheekbones. And then for highlighter, we're going to be using the highlighter from the Tom Ford Shade and Light Palette. So let's just go ahead and put that on with the fingertips. This is so gorgeous. It really gives like a wet, glossy look to the skin. Let's go ahead and put some on the forehead too. So pretty. That dog situation is not the move. Someone is about to get told wrong. Okay, putting a little bit on the tip of the nose too. Just a little. A little sheen never hurt anyone. But you don't want to be a sheen queen, like that's a lot. Okay, that's looking great. I'm gonna use a little bit of ecstasy blush and put that on the cheeks, the chin, and all over. I would love to use the Tom Ford blushes too and the powder bronzer. Slow and steady. Slow and steady with that brand. All right guys, and this is my finished look using those Tom Ford products. Tell me what you think down below. I really enjoyed these products, guys. This eyeshadow palette is like, you know, I say this quite a bit, but this is like me in eyeshadow form. This is exactly what I would want to look like. It's really, really autumnal. It's warm, it's glamorous with that sparkle. I really like that gloss as well. You know, I'm a nude girl, so I'm gonna get a lot of use out of this gloss. And that shade and illuminate cream bronzer. Oh my gosh, I love it. I'm gonna be using it every single day. It's buttery, it blends into the skin, and it's just the right color. One more thing that I picked up from the Tom Ford counter at the Grove is the Metallic fragrance. 
so this is really nice i don't even know how to describe these notes to you it's just too sophisticated so this is what the packaging looks like it's very glamorous it's a mix of gold and platinum and it smells so nice it's got a sort of sweetness to it but it's also very sophisticated sexy a little edgy only as tom ford can do you know he's very known for his fragrances so if you're going to be exploring the tom ford brand chances are you're going to be getting a fragrance i love the soleil blanc i love this fragrance and there's so many other good ones they just launched a peach one too that's really nice i checked that one out it's really really sexy um so check out those three they're really good if you live in the los angeles area i highly recommend you check out the grove store they have a really nice big counter for tom ford and um they're really really nice and helpful there so many good products they have their holiday sets there too so highly recommend checking that out and i love this leopard sun eyeshadow palette so if you're going to check out eyeshadow palettes they have a new holiday one that's very like sheer kind of like that korean beauty look just a wash of color i love leopard sun and i love honeymoon now so many people love tom ford products so for those of you who have tried more than i have go ahead and leave a comment down below and let everyone else know what we should try um you know i did buy that one lip color that was stunning it was like a deeper red burgundy tone i will find it and i will use it in a future video but if you love tom ford lipsticks please let us know down below what else we should be exploring what we should be trying because he really has so many of them and i cannot wait to get my hands on a good nude and like a good coral i see he makes a lot of good bright ones too so inform us down below tom ford experts what we should be checking out um there's so much good stuff we're just barely scratching the surface but with my quarantine budget honey that's what we gotta do we gotta go piece by piece because tom ford is a luxury brand honey it's like going out and getting chanel it's like getting a louis vuitton bag like you're just prepared to be paying a hefty price because this packaging isn't cheap and the products are really really good guys so please let me know what you think of this video down below i'm really excited to hear i know so many people who love charlotte tilbury also really enjoy tom ford thank you so much for watching don't forget to subscribe if you are new here and follow me over on instagram and on twitter and tiktok i am posting a lot of reels these days a lot of tutorials a lot of beauty content you're going to see it almost every single day on instagram that you're not going to see here on YouTube. So be sure that we are connected there. Can't wait to see you there. And so wherever you are in the world, I really hope that you're staying safe, staying sane, and staying inside. We're all in this together. Hopefully we're getting closer and closer to the days where we can connect and be outside and go back to normal, the new normal. So again, thank you for watching. I'll catch you guys very soon on another video. Take care. You know that I'm a keep it cold. With you I feel like breaking rules on the edge. Looking out with no parachute. You know I'm dreaming about us too.